What is going on guys welcome back to another video of Android application development in Android Studio. In this video we are going to learn how we can integrate retrofit library in our Android application. With the help of the retrofit library we will do the API call. We will use one of the free API available over the internet. We will create codes application where we can generate random codes. So we will learn entire process of integrating retrofit library in our application. So let's get started with new project. Select empty views activity. Next, give the application name. Let's give the name quotes. Language will be Kotlin. Minimum SDK, let's select Android 8.0 so that it will support 93% of devices. Build configuration language, let it be recommended. Click on finish. So our project is loaded. First thing what we will do is we will add the libraries. So let's go to build at gradle. That will be app level build at gradle. And over here we have to add the libraries. So let's go to Google source for retrofit library. Go to this website where we have the documentation of retrofit. So here you can see the documentation. Let's go to bottom and add the dependency from here. So here we can see we can add this dependency. We have to insert the latest version. First let's copy this and paste it over here. We have to add it in double inverted and this and we have to insert the latest version. We can check the latest version over here in the github. So latest version is 2.9.0. You can input 2.9.0. Another library we need is from retrofit. We need one converter. You can go back over here. You can see we have JSON converter, Moshi converter. We can use any of these converters. I will use JSON so I'll copy this as well. I'll duplicate this and paste it over here. Version will be same. So let's click on sync now. So the required library are added. Let's close this. Now let's design the UI. Let's go to activity main.xml split here. Let's convert it to relative layout. Let's remove this hello world and let's add a text view. Wrap content, wrap content. Text size will be 28 SP. Font family will be serif. Center horizontal will be true. Text color, let's give some red color. And text will be our app name. So here it will be quotes. Let's give padding to this relative layout about 16 dp. And let's give a, a night background. Let's add another text view. Match parent wrap content. Center in parent will be true. Text will be for now it will be this. Text color will be white. Text size will be 30 sp. Bold gravity will be center. And let's give id to this as quote text view. So it will be our quote. You can test it with tools text. Here the quote will be displayed. So so this is the demo text to show over here. It won't be visible in the device. Let's add another text view for author, match parent, wrap content. It will be below our quote TV. Text will be let's give tools text will be author name whatever. Text size will be 24 SP. Font family will be serif mono space. Let's give this font family to this as well. It will look good. Text color will be something like gray. Let's give margin top 16 dp and gravity will be center. So it will look like this. Now below this we will add a next button so that when we click on next button it will load another code. So let's add a button. Wrap content, wrap content, text will be next align parent bottom true center horizontal true let's change background tint as white and text color as black id will be next button let's add a progress bar as well so that we can show the progress progress bar parent bottom true center horizontal true id will be progress bar and visibility will be gone as default it won't be visible at first. So in this way we will show the UI. Let's run and test how it is looking. So this is the UI. Here you can see purple color. We will make it a black. Let's go to resource values themes.xml and let's add an item status bar color black. Same we will do for night as well. Now if we run it will be black. Now let's close these themes and we will enable view binding so that we can use all the views over here. Let's go to build at gradle and here let's add build features. View binding will be true. Sync now. Now we can use the view binding. So let's add the binding. 
bind binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator and here set content view will be binding dot root now we'll integrate the api using retrofit library so let's go to google and search for any free api you can go for gencodes.io so we have this free api gencodes.io we can use one api that will be a random one this one https this one let's copy this url and paste in another tab so whenever we hit this api it will generate a random code it will have the code in q it will have the author in a and we have ads for tag used on website so we don't require this we require code and we require author so this is the api whenever we hit this api it will generate the random code for us so we have to integrate this one let's go to the project let's create a new file that will be our interface which will be our code api so in this interface we will write the apis all the apis will be written over here so this api is a get method you can see over here it is a get request that's why it is coming directly we don't have to pass anything so let's create a get api you can write at the rate get and you have to give the path what is the path of this api if you go over here this is the base url from https to api slash it is the base url and this random is the api you can see over here we have this quotes we have this today we have this random till this slash is a base url and this is the path of that api so here we have to give just the path random so it will be the path so here we have to give the function name suspend function so that it will be asynchronous let's give the name get random quotes it won't take anything but it will return a response so which will be the type of what will be the type of the response so here you can see it is an array so first thing it is an array and inside that we have an object where we have q a and h string so let's create a model class you can directly create model class from json to kotlin model if you go to this website you can paste the json over here and you can get the data class over here you can copy this as well but we will create that so let's go to new kotlin class data class quote model let's say and here we will write three values that will be q of type string a of type string and we have h that is not required you can skip it also or you can keep it so let's keep it so this is our model class so here what we can do this random quote will return us list of quote model because here we have array list so what we can do over here is list of quote model so in this way our api is created if you want to create another API, you can go over here today. So this is the today. What you can do, you can copy this, paste it. Here you can give the today and you can write get today quote. So in this way, you can create another API. If you want to create any post API where we have to send the data, what you can do is you can give post, you can give the path, whatever the path will be. And you can create the function post quote. And here we have to pass the whatever we want to post. So you can pass anything and it will return something as a response. So whatever the response, either it will be a string or it will be quote model, whatever it is, it will return. So in this way, you can add any number of API. So we are using only random. So let's add random. Let's remove this as well. Now we have created the interface. We have to create the instance of retrofit also. So let's create another class that will be of object type since it will be singleton. So let's say retrofit instance here we have to pass the base url so what is the base url so let's create a constant value base url that you can copy from here let's copy this paste it and just remove the random because this is the base url till this slash now we have to create the instance of this retrofit with get instance let's create a method so it will be retrofit here we have to return retrofit dot builder from base url pass the base url as base url let's add converter factory we have added the json converter so we have to add json converter factory dot create and at last we have to build it so it will return the instance of retrofit with the base url now we have to link this quote api so we need quote api instance also so for that what we will do we will create a variable quote api type of quote api from this instance get instance dot create we have to pass the class that is the interface so here quote api class dot java so for retrofit we have provided the base url and a converter factory 
so from that instance we are giving the interface that will be quote api so that we will get this random code in this way it will work so we'll be requiring quote api from the main activity and we can call this method let's go to main activity now and here what we can do is we can create a method get quote get quote so from here we will get the code i will create one more method that will be set in progress so that we can show the in progress so in progress boolean here what we will do if it is in progress we will show the progress bar binding dot progress bar dot visibility will be visible and the button will be invisible so next button gone else if it is not in progress i'll copy this paste this progress bar will be gone next button will be visible so in this way we will set in progress so whenever we are getting the code we will set in progress as true so that first we will show the progress bar and we will get the code from the api so how we will get because it is a suspend function we have to call it from coroutine so let's say global scope dot launch so inside this coroutine scope we will call that method so let's add in try catch so that if any exception occur we will handle that so in try we will call the method so from retrofit instance singleton we will get the code api from here we have the method get random code so it will return some response so let's say response equals to so we'll get the list of code in this response here you can see list of code so from here what we will do is we'll set it to the ui so this ui so i will create another method that will be private fun set ui will take a single code quote model and with that quote we will set the ui so quote text view dot text equals to quote dot q binding dot author we have not given the id for author let's give the id as well id author tv so here author tv dot text equals to quote dot a so it will show in the ui so it will show the quote and the author in the ui so from here we have to call this set ui but we cannot call it from coroutine scope so let's run an ui thread for changing the ui we have to run on ui thread so run on ui thread we have the method run on ui thread here we can do set in progress as false because we have got the data and we will provide the first data so here in the list we have to get the first data so from response dot body let's get first data and if it has first data means it has the data then we'll set the ui with this quote model so whenever we get the response we'll set the progress to false we'll get the first element that will be the quote this first element and we'll provide it to the ui here in this way it will show so let's run the application either we are getting it or not our application is crashing so let's go to logcat we have not added the internet permission so we need to do that let's go to manifest usage permission internet now let's run it so you can see progress bar is going on and we got the random code you can see over here we have the code we have the author next button will not work because we are not handling that let's handle that also go to main activity here we can do binding dot next button dot set on click listener it will be get code so whenever we click on next button it will get another code we got the random code another so in this way the application is working if we turn off the wi-fi and click on next so the progress is ongoing it should not happen here we are using the try and in exception we are not doing anything so what we will do run on ui thread set in progress will be false whenever we got the exception and we'll show a simple toast so let it be something went wrong or you can say in check internet connection length will be short show if i rerun it you can see over here something went wrong if i click on next it will show something went wrong now if i turn on the internet our random code is generated so it is generating the code so in this way we have easily implemented retrofit library in our android application we have created the code api where we have the function that will generate the random code from this random path we have the retrofit instance where we have the base url we have created the instance of the retrofit and then we have returned the code api from that code api interface in main activity we have just called that 
get random code from the coroutine scope that's it if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye